There are a lot of evolutions already. I've done zero of them. And the box to box is expiring within eight hours. So it's time to work on them. And rather than just going through your club or even on Fudbin, I found a much better way to find the best combination of evos to get the best possible card. And the best part is it's free. You can use it as well. I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's not a sponsored video or something. It's generally the website that I use to chain my evolutions. Let me just show you. Of course, we got to do this one. And rather than just looking through here and like, okay, what place? do we want to use like Jonathan looks pretty good decent card but it would really be a waste if you do it all individually so of course we have Fudbin as well that show all individual evolutions and even if you go to the home page you can see here the popular evolutions and then you can just click on here look through all of them and like okay which one do I like and since we have box to box we click on that one and we look at this but I think these are all just individual ones even though no this one isn't Renato Sanchez first put him in octopus then in box to box looks like a very good card is Renato Sanchez. We have similar things on FUD.GG. You can even have an Evo lab if you know what kind of player you want. Let's say last year I really enjoyed Gelson Martin's evolution. I can click on him. What are the best possible evolutions? Sure, right? Doesn't look like an insane card yet. Definitely not gonna do him yet, but he did play for Monaco, so maybe in the future on this series we will do it. But a website that is perfect for evolutions is EasySBC. It's EasySBC.io. You can literally just go to evolutions here, and this already looks way different, right? At the top here, you can choose, okay, which one do i still have active for us we still have them all active i think we only don't have the ultimate edition evolution so we can click on all of them besides that one and then we say only selected and then it creates the best possible players for you to combine the evolutions at the moment these are based on a meta rating and a meta rating is just like how good are they in game but in general the more pace a player has the more certain stats they have in a certain position all that kind of stuff is based on a meta rating and this one is apparently the highest meta rating possible and if we look at the card it is an insane card it makes sense so here you can literally look like in a way like okay who do you want to do but if you for example do a possible and present like we are doing with road to Henri. we build teams around the french team and all the teams that he played for we want to search for that right so here there are filters where we can like you know what let's check france and then this is the top one we can do with the evolutions we still have active and this guy has 90 pace 75 shooting 79 passing 86 dribble 89 defending and 83 physical decent play styles as well for center mid we can click on him we can see he has a holding cdm plus plus player role and this looks like an insane card so we could be like okay we want to do him but but I already created another one. You can create more things. If you go to filter, there is an option here that says past and present clubs, which is also very nice because they have all the players added that once played for like Arsenal, if I would put that in. So I did that already and I put a French player from either Arsenal, Monaco, Barcelona, Juventus. If they had any point played for any of the teams and they're French, they will show up here. He is the only one that really shows up at the start. If we scroll further down, we also have a Ganduzi, Turum. Well, Turum has an SBC, so that feels like a waste. So they're not too too many options and he again that's like the best meta rating he comes up at the top the problem is if you search for this you don't have only selected i don't know if it works we can check it out and then we only select it it does work yes so again we just chose everything here that we still have with all those filters and he comes out on top by far so this seems like a player we want to do and box to box is included in that one that's of course very important but if we would deselect everything besides box to box because that's the one that expires in eight hours and then we set this to change then it goes over all the evolutions that are active so also the ones you might have done already so as you can see he has a slightly better card but we don't have the ultimate edition evolution but this way we search for a player that has that box to box evolution in there so you can really choose okay this one expires in eight hours who are the options of the things we want to do but since we don't have the ultimate edition evolution this is the best card we can do i'm not gonna lie i kind of want to do him even though he's gonna be hard to link since he's in the second league of spain he has a center mid cdm and striker position so whenever there's an evolution for striker he fits inside of it and maybe we can boost the shooting and the passing and make him like a super all-round player and once we have Henri it's an icon okay, Jeff. gives a link he's French okay, Jeff. gives a link and if we have a few more icons in it or a few more French players in it we can put him on full chemistry without a problem so for me this is definitely like the best option we can do but if we would say not France as you can see we have Hayden here who once played for like Arsenal so he pops up here even though he currently doesn't play for one of the teams so if we then look through it we see Zakaria which looks like 
a very solid card, but he has an inform that has pretty much better stats, so it doesn't make sense either. And here you can just look through everything that you want to do or potentially want to do. That's actually how simple it is. And I know I talked a lot and there's a lot of information maybe, so if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments because then I could go over it again in a future episode. But this is what I do when I go for evolutions. I like to chain them, otherwise it feels like a waste for me. Oh, and one more thing, if you don't want to spend any coins on evolutions, there's also a button here, exclude paid evolutions, and then it just searches for ones that are not paid. So you can do all these players that are here for free. I'm not gonna lie, there's still some decent options in there. So just play around with it, check it out for yourself, and also let me know in the comments if you played around with this or if you have an evolution that makes me jealous. And if we quickly look at the new evolution that dropped yesterday, which is in general a horrible evolution, if we quickly go back to like Fudbin and we search for it, like it doesn't do anything, it just puts defending up on a cam. What's the point of that? But the good thing is, there are players that have different positions, like a cam, a center mid, and because of that, you can create, especially with a combination of multiple evos, a card that looks like this, which looks insane. Like, we're not gonna do this because we rather do it on up end, but if you don't really care about who it is and you just want the best possible player, look at the card that is already, and it's only an 84 rated card. This is an 84 rated card, which means with the way the evos work this year, the main issue is the rating. If the rating is too high, you cannot put in an evolution. But if the stats are too high, you can still boost it to a certain level and therefore create like a card like this that is so all around that he fits in so many evos and even if he just slightly boosts some stats, you can make him better and better. But at least you can search up your favorite players, you can search up your favorite teams, your nation, and just enjoy making evolutions because now evolutions could be really worth it when you can chain them. And of course, with a player like Appen, who is so good, who has like the highest meta rating and everything, he's gonna be popular. So he is, oh, there's one on the market right now for almost a minute. I want to say he's not on the market at all, which he in general isn't, but I was able to snipe one for 5,000 coins. But yeah, obviously popular players will go up in price, which is also right away a way to make profit. Because what you can do, you can go to those evolutions. You can look at the meta players, like the highest rated meta, and look for them in your club and they're 100% up in price because a lot of people are gonna do them. It's the same with the popular players, for example, on Fudbin. Most of these players and the lower rated they actually are, like if they're silver or bronze, the more they're most likely going up in price. Of course, Rashford is a gold player, but he is so popular that if we look at the day that the Evo came out, he went from around 6,000 coins to 30,000 coins. And it was even more than that. Like he peaked a little bit higher, but you won't see that on this graph really. And then he dropped to like 16, went up again. And he's again like 25,000 coins. Then last Friday, a lot of packs were open. So obviously he drops again. But here you can see like it really works. And if we look one more time to up and look what happened. An evolution came out that was okay. But then they realized, wait, that's a very nice combination of Evos. So he went extinct. And here you see 5k, but yeah, extinct. Zero or 5k is exactly the same thing because that's his max price range. But let's check out one more. What about this one? It's a silver. Only these two Evos. They're both free. What is his price doing? He spiked up a little bit when the Evos were available. Not too crazy though, because it's not a player that everyone's gonna do. But in general, check your players and they're most likely up in price. This is the one we saw, right? That, that looked like insane. Max price. Check if you have any of those popular players in the club. He can make some coins. But before we can put Appen in the box to box, which is expiring in eight hours, I first gotta put him in power search in octopus and then I can put him in box to box. So I gotta work on those games right now and then I can put him in there, hopefully still in time. And then we did our first Evo on the road to Henri. And if you're new here because you wanted to see what I had to say about how to do evolutions in the best possible way, this is my road to Henri series where I try to work my way up to Henri and then build teams around him that he used to play for. So feel free to stick around and see the future episodes where we're gonna open packs, play champs, trade. I have an investment coming up. And if you're interested how I got 280,000 coins already, feel free to check out the previous episodes. It was a little bit of a different episode today. I just wanted to get this out here since I needed to do it anyways. I was like, yeah, let me tell you about how to do the evolutions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Next episode, we will have a lot of packs, including FUD champs. So stick around for that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, even though it was a little bit of a different episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it though. And then I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you. Would really appreciate right. it.